Uh, it's not a lot like less like Steve Bloom, more like Titus. And I apologize, but that's what the the kind of flesh I got from that. Anyway, so this level is basically just a remap level of J of Jin's level. I'm sorry, but Mugen's story is basically come down to me saying here's the differences between a uh, Mugen uh, Jin story, Mugen story. Here's Mugen story. Here's how it's different from Jin's because you basically played this game once already. It's called Jin story. It's still superior to it, honestly, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so this setup I have right now, I think this is from the last time I played... Yeah, I think this is actually from the last time I played this game with him, actually, so... Uh, let me just quickly give us a rundown. My god, I have, like, no attack power against these fuckers. What is going on here? Well, I guess that one would do it. Okay, Western Sword. Yeah, no, this is definitely the old one. And... It, oh, yeah, that's right, the Western Sword's a good one. Why am I orders change? Strange. Anyway... So actually, the Western Sword is a very fucking good weapon. It's one of those ones that's like a 3-2 uh, in stats. I forget if it's the 3 is in the durability or the 3 is in the attack, but this is a very good replacement weapon for Mugen, kind of universally. If I remember right, I think this is actually one, if not one of the first weapons you can get for him, but it's definitely like a very early on weapon you can get for him. So anyway, uh, how many do I have right now? Two? I'm going to assume I need probably six. That's just like first guess. What is this? Oh no, this is a different kind. Of, this is a different thing. However, I do kind of like this LP, whatever, whatever it is, because it does give you like a uh, pretty nifty sub attacks. Anyway, so I should probably start explaining uh, Mugen. Um, the Game Facts guy I consult definitely describes Mugen as like the easier to use between the two. Basically, he has no real tricks, no back rolls, no stances. It's real. Um, with Mugen, what you see is what you get. He press buttons, he does things, and that's basically all you got. Um, circle, that's not circle, x button. he does this crazy jump in here, holy crap, and now of it, you do get access to, <laughs> sorry about that, um, when you do jump, you actually do get no access to a fair amount, where he's always here, huh, well that's actually pretty convenient, let's go inside and take a look, shall we, then again, west swords are taking a bit of a pounding, so that's a wee bit inconvenient, thank you. Uh, it's just a good thing I'm not going to use the Glaze for anything. Actually, if I get the chance, I'm definitely going to switch out the Gladiator for something else. However, now I'm going to have to go into post and list all the new weapon stats that Mugen has access to. Since... Oh, no, this is a record shop. Cool. <laughs> Records. Anyway, so what we got? For Sword Master Fujikawa, an unbelievable thing. Cool. Um, yeah, Sword Master... Eh, I'll probably keep it to this. Actually, no, hang on a sec. No. Use that. Definitely use that. Box trap, Jaguar, batter. Salty snow. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm I definitely used Salty Snow before. I'm gonna stick with Bird of Passage. And the second one's gonna be uh let's take a look around. Uh Bird Passage. Always where the heart is. Alright, actually what does you if these offer? Very little in terms of differences, so I guess that's a pretty good start. And let's go see what we've got for stats. Since I can never remember the shops on my head. Bird Passage. From New York. Like have mode. Oh wait, no, I already did use that one. Where's where the heart is? What is this one? <laughs> Human beatbox. Oh no, I have used this sub already, never mind. Alright, let's swap these out for something else, shall we? Dawn Raid. I actually have Rarely use that, I think. And you guys see Sword Master Fujikawa is the one that raises your defense, which is very good. And this one, I guess. Very cool stuff. Actually, I do like that one. It's really laid back. I like it. And of course, I gotta sort through all this shit again. Yeah, boy. Alright, this one. I do remember this one doing some pretty cool. A mass agony of electronic melody. Makes any ranged attacks useless. Okay, I remember this one. Um. Truthfully, there's all, there's very few ranged attacks in the game, but it, I think it does refer to actual like projectile enemies. Personally, I don't recommend that. I would just recommend just taking a Sword Master Fujikawa if you do have the access to it because you know, free defense boost is always good. And last one, what was the other one I equipped? Dawn Raid. That was it. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to organize my thoughts right now. Uh, Yokozuna. Damn, twelve week number one hit. You, gain, you can get more money. Oh, fuck. I'm going to use that one. Bob, we a bit of a hoarder in this game. Then again, I'm still debating if I actually want to invest into 
trying to unlock all the secret weapons in the game. It is an option, but I'm still somewhere in the middle. Also, just gotta love how these doors are set up in the middle of the fucking winter forest. Before, because you know why not? Anyway, now the other store. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a guess and I'd probably say this is the weapon shop, since usually, if there's ever gonna be two that are available, it'd probably be those two. Or maybe there's other sh shops on the other side of the road that I missed. Who knows? Hello, come right in. Why, thank you, sir. Except I cannot because there is a loading screen in my way. There we go. Oh, yep, got it. Wait. Oh, I'm shop. All right, sure. Why not? Uh, easy level is easy, so gonna just stick with good luck charm. Was there anything else? No. I wish there was an item to actually raise your weapon durability. That'd be pretty sick. I do know there is a there is a record that does raise your weapon durability, which makes uh, well, basically a couple of like weapons or or gladius would definitely basically give you like a free attack buff all across the board. And not to worry about running a weapon energy so fast. Damn, that's very good. But since that's... Aha! I knew it. First guess is always right. Most of the time. One of my models whenever I'm taking an exam in school is don't never second guess yourself. That's generally what I refer to anyway. So. And damn. Also, this background is like conveying nothing to me, honestly. I'm not a black and white guy. I'm a color guy. You know, that's not here. There, repair. What do I have to repair? Gladius, of course. And sadly, I'm not rocking too much in terms of stuff right now. All right. I also just want to explain this one thing really fast. Um, Jin primarily has access to katanas and all that stuff. Very few actual like broadswords. Uh, Mugen has access to a lot of Western and broadswords, but has very little access to um, uh, katanas. So basically, that's the big disparaging between the two. Let's see. Oh, I've been waiting to give this one a shot. Battle axe wheel by veteran fighters. Badass. And of course, I'm going to leave all the stats on the screen right now so you guys can get a visual on that. Uh, Western Sword is fantastic. That's like the bread and butter of what you always want to use. Gladius is still a Gladius. Jamadar. You know, I'm going to give it one shot with all that. Since I've already used the Western Swords enough. Dragon Swords could be fun as hell. Magic Staff. Yeah, this is, um. Yeah, this is a thing. Used by a witch. Guess where you get that. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, guys. You've seen me unlock weapon, or I've already explained that you do get weapons from beating bosses in a witch. There's only one witch in this game, thank you very much. Um, actually, funny enough, Mugen does not have access to a lot of katanas in this game. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, when you get, uh, when you gain access to Warso, Warso is a combination between both their arsenals. Not necessarily like their entire arsenal, but like a good like 50% chunk between the two of them, so. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to shit you can get access to, but we'll worry about that when we get the Warsaw of the story. Uh, also, you, just for a reference, you do get access to Warsaw as soon as you beat one character story, so once you do that, you're pretty much set. Oh, also, there is one big cool trivia about this this game that does offer a little more inside the Mugen. Um, so, the signature story usually carries around, usually it, didn't, it never got a name in the anime. However, in this game, it's actually called a Typhoon Swell. So this actually now has its official name. It's actually pretty cool. I will say, I try to. Did that just give me stuff? Huh? What the hell's going on here? Uh, I was not aware this weapon had effects. Battle axe? <laughs> it's actually battle axe. Damn, it's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be, but you know what? Whatever. So might to assume that Jamadar actually gives me increased attack? Maybe I'm. Not sure on that, but I'm gonna look into it later, of course. Anyway, moving on. So, same, same old, same old. I love, you know, it just hit me that I'm using uh, an LP that gives me access to more money, and I'm the kids me access to more money. Speaking of more money, oh, let's fucking do this. Damn it. Later. My apologies, people. I pressed square and triangle at the same time by accident. But you know what? It's the same old setup as before. The longer you go into the level, the more the easier access you'll have to. Oh my god, that weapon just exploded. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I guess we're not using a Jamadar ever again. And, and this weapon. What the fuck is the durability? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Wow, this thing must have a durability of one. It's just shattering when you use it. Ugh. 
Well, I'm not using any arrow weapons for the rest of the rest of this round. Shit. That was um that was a very piss poor choice. Damn, dude, holy shit. Actually, hold up. I probably should use that for the battle axe, actually, because the battle axe is not exploding every time you use it, thank you very much. And of course I'm gonna go look right because uh, usually this game does reward you for exploring, so why the hell not? And I would assume this game wants you to go more north than anything else. Eh, you know. Uh, you know what? What was I about to say? Well, first of all, I gotta deal with these guys. Eh, you been again, seven Kobons, that's not... Oh, now we're eight. Um... If I remember correctly, I don't think there's a Mike Tyson outside of the area to gain access to it. I think no there is it's just like one and here we have hidden money fantastic of course it's not too much so what the hell ever anyway I guess what should go down the list of um, shit moving can actually do um let's see <laughs> I didn't realize he had an extension out of that actually that's kind of cool but ever just kind of uh, yeah, generally, Mugen's firing style is definitely what it is in the actual show itself. Anyway, square attack is that. That's... It's a lot faster than, than Jin's, that's for sure, but that's kind of like a benefit and a downfall. Because <laughs> on the one hand, it's hard to whiff punish, but on the other hand, not really getting too much. So that's a circle attack, it's technique counter. Pretty cool stuff. Nice forward advancing stuff. That's gonna come in handy for bosses later. Um, X. It's actually a jump and a slash at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. X. If you think there's any attack to this, there's not. You literally just hammer and attach as you can. Anyway, I'll be back in a momentarily, guys. I'm going to quickly knock this the fuck out. Cool. And that, with that, uh, that was actually pretty damn easy. I just pressed square the entire time. And with that, what I got? Ukiyo artwork number nine. All right, that's. No, I'll take that. What the hell not? I imagine if you play it long enough and fail it enough times, you actually probably get access to all the Ukiyo artwork, unless there's something I'm missing. And triangle. Eh, it's it's very linear, not not too good of a technique counter, but yeah, it's just not to get by. Anyway, so I guess at the end of this string, Jin does have, or goddamn it, Mugen does have access to like his knockdown move or like the shockwave move uh, Jin has, but Jin just comes out so much faster. It's so much better, honestly. Uh, yeah, Jin Mugen is definitely God. I wonder how many times I'm gonna do that. Mugen is definitely the one that's wow. I was just randomly pressing circle and. Got me that. Okay. I didn't even notice the door there. Mugen's uh, generally referred to as the easier to use between new characters. So if you just want to pick up this game and play it, uh, he's the one to go to or to just get, knock it out. Now, of course, Mugen is definitely the preferred one to get for because once you beat his story, you get access to Flatline. And I've shown you what Flatline can do. Flatline is pretty goddamn amazing. <laughs> and our cool, on, cool. I probably should stop dicking around so much and just get a move on. But, you know. All the enemies are pretty laid out well here, so it's not too terrible. Yeah, let's see. What we got. Thirty-one. That's a good amount of money right there. Hey, I dropped another two cobons at the same time. Holy shit! I have never seen that. That is. Ooh, I wish more enemies did that. Anyway, so huh? Another fork. Oh yeah, the fork and roll from earlier. Okay, that would. I, I like how just like an example in the. Kinds of futility, really. Hey, Kobons, man. I still have no idea how to do a Mike Tyson voice. Uh, if only I knew how. Or if only I knew someone who could do a Mike Tyson voice, that would be pretty hilarious. And you gotta, like, slur a lot. Something about a lot of THs? I don't know. Oh. Oh, listen to this guy. <laughs> Definitely voiced by Dave Wittenberg. And I'm gonna forget your name in like two minutes. Uh, let's not lie, we're all gonna forget his name in two minutes after this. Dude, even after playing um, Jin's story, I still barely know what that means. Don't live long around here. Even the Tsurumaki are destined to fall. 
Okay, those names I understand. Shut your hole. Mark my words, kid. The black tengu will continue to multiply. Fascinating. The nightmare will persist until the tengu are killed. Okay. Will you quit yapping and just come at me already? My sentiments exactly. <laughs> well, jeez, Dave, that wasn't necessary at all. All right, so first, wow, we we got our first boss fight like right right from where we go. How about that? With how about that shit? Okay, <laughs> and completely fucking missed. Of course, with my sub right now, it's his like, yeah. I'll I'll let the footage speak for itself. And this is why we invest in our stats and general good shit. If there's any strategy, if there's, well, you know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna stop going. I'm gonna stop destroying him so bad. I'm gonna sandbag a little bit so we can see what we do. He glows. That's fucking neato. Can you do anything else? I'm gonna give you till the count of ten to do something cool. Nope. You had your chance, buddy. I apologize, but you are now dead. Hmm. Ooh, getting fancy. <laughs> He's substituting motherfucker. Huh, I just lost my hyper my hyper mode, interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh. Choices. Well, it's good to know that just hammering square against this guy is gonna inevitably get you the win. Oh Jesus. It's gonna my Wow, this actually did two points. Okay. It's <laughs> bro. Who? I should have expected no less of the man who defeated our army so completely. <laughs> now, are you talking about Jin here? Because I'm pretty sure you're referring to Jin. Mm, because Jin kind of does that. Kind of just ends armies. Because, you know, why the fuck not? Well, they they picked a fight first, damn it. Oh, 